In this week's Photoshop design tutorial, I'll show you how to design a simple retro logo in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me over at RitaPro.com. The channel where you get to learn everything about Photoshop design in weekly quick tutorials. So in this week's design episode I have a simple tutorial for you teaching you how to do a simple retro logo in Photoshop. We're gonna work with some shapes, we're gonna rasterize those layers, add some text and also bundle it all together, group it and create a really cool simple logo. So yeah, enough of the talking, let's do it. Okay, so over in our lace palette in the right hand side again you guys get to see here is first of all the, the design and then also the background so again let's start right away just with the background so I'm going to turn this off and show you guys quickly what I did again if you're new to this and don't know how to do canvas sizes please have a look at this tutorial or on the channel there are more tutorials teaching you how to get here okay so what I want to show you guys is first of all just I've created the black canvas with a black layer here completely black and then I dragged in another layer here that I have also from graphicstock.com again you can find it on that platform and it's basically just a forest with a bit of mist so this one I dragged in it's also a smart object I'm just gonna right click and say rasterize layer I don't need to have this as a smart object now due to that that we're gonna have a white logo on top I basically took down the opacity just a little bit from this layer. So basically I took this to 79% opacity. Let's actually type 80 in here. That would be around a number. And this is due to the white uh, design here. So it can stand out just a bit. So if it's obviously like this bright, it's a bit too bright. So 80% it is for opacity. Okay, so that's basically the background already. Let's get right away now into the design. So I'm gonna turn off this layer and start right away with a fresh new layer and basically a shape layer. So let's actually press U on the keyboard or you can also go here to the tool panel and select custom shape tool. Now in the custom shape tool, I have a ton of shapes. Again, remember you can also download all of this in the description down below, just have a look. So over here, I found this shape over here, okay. And now with this shape, I'm gonna hold shift on the keyboard so it's equally expanding and I'll make a nice big selection over here. Something like this. Okay, so right away you guys get to see that we have also selected here under fill in the application bar, it's nothing. Then also stroke should be white and also two pixels over here. Okay, so basically you can still see the outlines from the shape. I'm gonna press command, shift and H all together to hide these outlines. And basically going to just take the move tool and move this thing around a bit. Okay, I've created something weird down here. Let's just go to the history panel and delete this little small guy. Okay, I'm gonna take shape two, move this somewhere over here, somewhere into the, the center. Again, I'm working with Photoshop CC, so right away CC helps me with some guidelines, the pink line that you're seeing right away. So it directly shows me this is the center of my canvas, which is really nice and speeds up my workflow. But if you don't have that, you can obviously go to view and say here new guide, and then you obviously can enter a new guide. And yeah, I normally type in 50%, like so, hit okay, and right away you will be left here with the two keys uh, guideline. Okay, I'm gonna press uh, command Z, get uh, rid of that. Now, let's head over to, first of all, typing out what we wanted to type. So again, our title here, just select the text tool. I'm going to make them a nice big selection here and write Copenhagen. So again, big capital letter and then we're going to write Copenhagen. So obviously you can type in whatever you like. For this, I'm also going to go with a font size around 111. Yep, it's already selected or 115 is also good. Then I'm gonna hit enter. Let's actually quickly go to the character box here and just have a look. Character is basically the tracking is set to minus 20. It's normally at zero, but I wanted to have it at minus 20. Just looks a bit neater when it's tighter together. So again, you guys can obviously copy this. The font is also called Lobster 1.4 Regular. You can also find that in the description down below if you wanna know more about it. Okay, I'm gonna accept it. Take also my move tool here. And I've noticed right away a big mistake. My shape, I still need to rotate that. But don't worry, let's just select the shape layer 2. Press Command T on the keyboard so you can get into the transform mode. Hold Shift and just wait. Go to an anchor point here on the right hand side until you see the round arrow. Then just turn it around until you are happy, until it's 
right? 90 degrees, 180 actually. Or is it 90 degrees? I think it's just 90 degrees. Anyways, you turn it around until it clips again and hit enter. So right away you've turned around the shape as well. So you've got the uh, pointy part at the top. Okay, I'm gonna select again with uh, the second layer here, Copenhagen. I'm also gonna do the same effect. Press command T, go to the side, wait till the round arrow appears. And I'm just rotating again a little bit the Copenhagen. Also accept it from the top, take the move tool and I'll just move this a little bit into here. So okay, you can, guys can obviously space it wherever you want to. So this will be my first stage here, just writing Copenhagen. I can also see that I might type this a little bit bigger. So let's actually go with like 115. Okay, accept it. And with the move tool, I'm just spacing it into the right position again. Now, obviously you guys can, uh, the Copenhagen name does not be, Cop needs to be Copenhagen. You can obviously change that to whatever you want. Then I'm also going to write another slogan here at the top and we're going to duplicate that and put that also at the bottom. So at the top it will be something like luxurious, luxurious clothing or something in that way. So I'm going to write it all in capital letters. Luxurious. Okay, let's select all of it. And first of all, I'm going to change the font. So for this font, I'm going to work again with Helfit Neue. You guys can also find that font down below in the description. It's still too big, you guys can't see it. Let's make it like a 25 to 30. Yep, 25 is actually good. And now I'm gonna switch it from light mode just to medium. Okay, so it stands out a bit more. But also the tracking is still not too nice. So let's go back to the character box and select tracking over here, maybe 400. Yep, let's actually go with 500. Yeah, that's a bit better. Accept it. And take the move tool and I'm literally just moving it down here. Again, what I do is press Z on the keyboard and zoom out a little bit just to see how it feels, if it balanced right, left and right. Okay, move that a bit over and so far that looks nice. What I can also see if I drag down a guideline that we have these two anchor points here on the corners. So let's place our guideline right there. And then I would take this title here and just move it a bit up. Okay, so it's almost reaching that line. Okay, let's just take the guideline and move it out. Also guys, if you wanna drag out guidelines really quickly, just make sure under view, rulers are selected here at the top. So you can easily with the move tool, just go to the ruler and drag them out quickly. But if you're not new, if you're new to Photoshop, you'll obviously not know about it. But I guess if you're advanced, you know already about this. Now, let's take the luxurious uh, title here and just copy it again. So with Command J, duplicate it, hold Shift on the keyboard, and I'm just dragging it down so it stays in the same anchors here as the top part. Let's also take another guideline out. I'm gonna move it down to the anchor point here, again to these points. And then just with the cursors, move Luxurious down a bit. Damn, I'm really suffering to say this name. Anyways, I'm also gonna write now clothing. Okay, so it's Luxurious clothing. I'm gonna accept it. And with the move tool, just move this slightly over so it's centered again. Maybe let's make our life a little bit easier. I'm gonna to go to view, say new guide again, and her vertically, I want to write 50%. So right away we have a guideline here in the center. So I can also see whenever the clothing is spaced right. Okay, like so, I think that feels good. Zooming out, okay, let's go to view, clear the guides. And I still need to do one last step, and that is obviously breaking just the shape. So let's go to the shape layer. It's currently still a smart object, so it will be difficult now to erase on it. So just press right click on this layer and go to rasterize. Now you can obviously work as a normal layer with it. Then go to the marking tool, rectangular marking tool. I'm going to make a selection over here. I'm also doing it quite quick. Take a bit more time when you guys do this. Okay, so better make a selection around here. And on this layer, I'm just gonna hit delete. So right away, these lines disappear. I'm basically now looking at the space here at the top and at the bottom and trying to find a even space between them to delete. Now, press M again in order to still be in the marking tool. Move it all the way over to the top part and do the same process again. Have a look at the spacing and hit delete once again. Press Command D, get out of the selection, and da-da, you've got your logo. So basically, super easy. Again, guys, take a bit more time when you do this. I've speeded quite quickly through this in order not to keep you 
waiting too long with this tutorial. So yeah, again, last step would be taking all of this here and pressing Command G on the keyboard. Again, for the Windows people, please press Control when I say Command. And I'm just gonna write here Design. Great, so that is again here our first design. Let's zoom out a little bit. And our second design, so almost uh, exactly the same. And if you want to now, you can obviously always fall back onto these uh, titles here and give this also a light form, a thin, or even if you want, also a bold. So that's totally up to you what you want to do with it. If you want the retro style, maybe go with the thin one. Guys, so that is basically it for creating this super easy Copenhagen retro logo in Photoshop. Again, remember, you can always change the background. You can also turn it into a black logo. You don't need to do it with white. And also you can use different fonts for this. Just remember to rasterize that shape layer so you can obviously cut out of it again. Guys, if you're like me and just can't get enough of Photoshop design, then click on your screen right now to subscribe. We send out free design tutorials every single week just for you. And guys, if you want to stay in touch, leave your feedback down below in the comment section or send us your tutorial request right away to tutorials at readthepro.com. Thanks again guys for watching. I'll catch you all in the next tutorial. You are still watching, so that means you want to see some more tutorials or you want to download everything. Firstly, have a look down below in the description is a link where you can download all of this for free straight from our website. Or if you want, Check here on the right hand side are some more tutorials in the same direction where you can learn how to do more of this. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna pack my stuff now. I need to go. See ya!